great ridge of mountains, 6,000 meters high, known as the Andes, runs like a huge snowy chain, a vast mountainous backbone down the whole continent of South America. Many groups of native people live on the mountain slopes. They're often called South American Indians, but there's some doubt about where they originally came from. Up in the north, America and Asia are very close together, so it's very probable that they were once joined. And perhaps tribes from northern Asia crossed into America and made their way south. Certainly, the people of the Andes look very much like people from northern Asia. At some point in their history, the tribes that came south to the fertile lands near the Andes built themselves cities and temples, and sophisticated civilizations grew up. The largest and most powerful was the kingdom of the Incas, a huge country which spread right across the southern continent and was ruled by the great Inca king. He kept a record of the number of his subjects by using the quipu, a complicated collection of knotted strings, which the Incas used for calculating and keeping records very like using an early form of computer. In this way, they could keep count of people, families, land, food crops, and even taxes paid. Another means of communication the Incas left behind were the royal roads, solidly made and some of them six meters wide. They ran through the lowlands and across the mountains for five and a half thousand kilometers. There was one main coast road and another main road right along the mountains, as well as a complete network of smaller roads crisscrossing the whole country. Across the mountain rivers, the roads were slung 60 meters high on swaying suspension bridges. And along these royal roads, fresh food was carried post-haste by imperial runners from one side of the continent to the other. It was said the Inca king ate fresh fish every day, brought to his mountain home from the coast by relays of royal runners. Of course, it wasn't only food that came by road, but the king's army, the law, and administration and control. The old network of roads built over 800 years ago for the great kings of the Incas is still the basis of all the mountain roads here and is still used every day. Goodbye. Till next time.